I recently read an article that stated scientists have been researching methods with the hopes of someday purging traumatic memories from our brains. While many are excited about the new advancement in technology, some are a little skeptical. So ladies, I wanna know, what are your thoughts on this, ladies? Um, I think why not? Why not? If we can help someone eliminate a trauma that is so hurtful that has stopped them from living their best life or being able to move on, I am all for it. I mean, I think for me, if I could uh, sort of let go of the trauma of my dad leaving, uh, when I was really young and not having a relationship oh. with him, I think that would probably do me some good. I think if it can help mm -hmm. people move on and shed that darkness, it's great. Come I'm for it. Wow. What about you, Munch? I'm so curious how this works. I mean, I'm trying to think to myself, is there a memory that I would want to like completely erase? Uh, Cause for some reason, I think that also has to do with kind of who it ends up making you become. And obviously for a lot of people, there are things um, that are unimaginable that I can't even begin to fathom, the kind of pain and trauma that certain things you can go through in your life cause. Wasn't there kind of a movie about this before? With um, Was it Jim Carrey? No. I thought there was a movie where like they could erase the sunshine something of your life, whatever. Oh yeah. I thought there was a movie about this. Yeah, I think right? that was more on a reality. But I, to this point, um, if I had to, I'm like you, Garcelle, I, I started thinking about what is it that I would want to erase. And I can yeah. remember um, the first dead body I saw. Cause you know, I grew up in the projects and it was a lot of death and a lot of violence. And I wish that I could erase some of that trauma. So I think for people like Same. me, it would really be good. I mean, I can remember the death of my best friend when she got shot and mm -hmm. things like that. So for me, I would love, you know, this type of technology. And I know it's something in the brain. And it's funny because I can still, I can still see her. I you can, can still can see the situation. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So for me, yeah. a traumatic event like that, I would love to be able to erase because it still eats you up inside. And that's what they were saying, that people know how to effectively process those memories. Because, I mean, you got, do you remember anything when you were little ladies that maybe was difficult yeah. and you and you can still remember it crystal clear? I think it's yeah, not just I remembering just, it, but how it affects me today, specifically with my fear of death. Like I have, like there aren't things that like, I'm not, I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I'm not afraid to give my opinion and those kinds uh, of things. I legit have a fear of death because of the trauma of experiencing so many deaths in my life at such a young age. Growing up in like the heroin uh, epidemic in the Lower East Side, growing up in the 80s, I also being a huge part of a community church, not gonna lie, I've probably attended easily more than 50 funerals within the first 15 years of my life. No. Uh, with AIDS and just like, like that really traumatized me. And it made me see the reaction that people had to death, um, specifically in a Latino community. And just seeing that traumatized me and made me go, oh my gosh, like I don't ever wanna experience that. Wow. I totally get that. I used to have this dream when I was little that there was a door and the door was so far away, I couldn't reach it. It was so small because it was so far. And I had this recurring dream. And literally, you guys, it wasn't until two months ago, I have this beautiful painting in my house and I realized it's a dock, but the door on the dock is so far away. It is like, That's wild. I don't know what that means, but I'm like, it's in my house. And I hadn't noticed until I was writing my book and realized that, you know, I talk about the door being so far away. So I do think trauma, definitely you can hold on to it. And some people it can cripple. So if they can do this and help people, um, yeah. I think it's a great idea.